Hey, what's happening, guys? Working on another uh, STEM board today. This one is an LED learning board, or you could call it an Ohm's Law learning board because that's basically what it teaches the kids. So here's the circuits, really simple. You got five volts comes in. It goes through a tack switch to turn it on and off, then through a resistor, through an LED to ground. And the idea is to illustrate um, the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance, basic Ohm's Law and allow these kids to learn how to, you know, you need a, a current limiting resistor for an LED. This is how a circuit is put together. Just the very basics of electronics. So yeah, here's the layout for the board. Yeah, there's, there's nothing to it. It's just really, really simple. And then, you know, uh, here's what it will look like, except it will be black, of course. Yeah. So let me uh, order some of these up. I'm going to be ordering them from PCB Way, and yes, PCB Way is the sponsor of this channel. But uh, they do good work, and if they didn't, I wouldn't let them sponsor me because, you know, the stuff that I make is my reputation, and I need somebody who makes a good product to uphold my reputation. So yeah, totally trust PCB Way. Anyway, click on PCB Instant Quote, and Quick Order PCB. Upload your Gerber file. You remember where I put mine? Ba -ba -ba. Flasher, Capboard, Smartphone, LED Circuit Learning Board. There we go. Some sometimes this render of the uh, the Gerbers doesn't work, but the, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, we're going to get five of them. They will be black on white. Boom, boom. And over here you can do what shipping you like. Get FedEx here. And there you can see your price and uh, you'll get your boards right quick. All right, so it's seven days later and the boards are back. Of course, they come out just beautiful. I, I really like the black on white. Or the white on black, rather. Cool. Let's put it together. All right. I apologize. I got started without you. Forgot to put the camera on. I got these resistors are in place. I think I've yeah, yeah, all but one are in the correct orientation. Sorry, Barry. Let's uh, start by soldering them up. This is a pretty basic little project here, but for you know junior high students, it should illustrate a lot about Ohm's law, which, if you want to learn electronics, is the first key. You're understanding that relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. Makes everything work. And it's not just enough to memorize the formulas. You really need to understand it, you know. There's a quote from a American physicist, Richard Feynman, who said, I learned early on the difference between knowing the name of something and actually knowing something. And I think as long as we can get the kids started early enough. This doesn't become such a, a a black magic thing that it is these days, which is really a shame. Of course, we have to keep in mind, I was born and raised in a small town with a small independent school system. So we didn't have, you know, any electronics education at all here. At the time I was in school. Now, I understand... In the 50s and 60s and the early 70s, they did at the high school, but, you know, they don't do that anymore here, which is a real shame. Because I, I once ran into, like, the remnants of the electronics, not lab, but department, you know, I guess you'd call it. And I asked somebody, and they said, oh, yeah, we haven't done that in years. 
and it was just all you know closed up and sad looking Get those LEDs and this is gonna be a short soldering part of this video because like I said there's not too much going on with this kit. Which is another concept that I like. KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. You know, you can make things like this and they don't have to be the the pinnacle of technology use known and proven components circuits that we all know and understand and uh, yeah, you end up with a, a project hopefully if you make any mistakes and I know I make make them all the time hopefully you end up with a project that works and looks good and believe me all your uh, all your non electronic friends will be suitably impressed what I'm doing now is just trying to get these LEDs to sit nice and flat so that we present a nice workmanlike product and whenever I do that, I don't do it all, all the time. Like if it's something I'm just whipping up for me, I don't really worry about it. But if it's something that's going out to somebody else, I do. And I don't know where I heard this, but I remember hearing that, like uh, for electricians, the the sign, one of the signs of, of a true professional was like when he installs your outlets, the screws all end up with the slots facing in the same direction just a mark of a professional and it's showing pride in your work because a lot of what I do you know here is just to whip something up make sure it's working or it's going to be a one one off thing you know on a breadboard so don't worry so much about the looks of things but that's yeah, not bad So now we're getting near the end of putting this together and whether it's a short little project like this one or a longer more involved one this is the part where I start becoming incredibly nervous like I know it should work there's no reason it shouldn't work but then my brain starts going yeah what if you screwed up one of the tracks when you laid it out what if you did this what if you did that that's how my brain functions how about yours Make sure those are all seated nice. These are the uh, six by six by ten switches. Gotta love a good clicky switch. And again, I'm soldering in one leg. And then I'll flip it over. I'm kind of looking at it edge on make sure they're sitting pretty good then I'll come back and cement the placement by soldering the opposite leg and I'm sorry that I haven't been doing a lot of great projects lately Things are stressful. And I talked about my mom in the past, and I've triggered a few people, and I apologize for that. So I'm not going to get into any details. Just dealing with a lot there. And um, also, I mean, my son's senior year in high school, and I'm getting stressed out over it because he's going to be gone soon. And I'm proud of them and all that, but damn, I don't want them to go. And you throw into the mix my recent surgery. And you can tell why I'm just a little bit on edge lately. Oh, 
That didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. So, doing my best. Hard being the one man show. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Oh. I am not as nimble with my fingers as the big Clive man, but I'm not bad. I'm using my ring finger to hold that in place. <laughs> I see all those years of guitar playing coming in handy for a right-handed guy. I'm not bad with my left hand. My left hand fingers. The left hand itself is still an idiot. All right. That's it. I'm going to have dinner, and when I come back, we'll see how it works. Okay, so, just finished up dinner, and we're ready to test it out. But here's what always happens to me. As I was sitting there eating dinner, a thought hits me. What I should have done was added some test points between the LEDs and the resistors so that the kids could measure current. Well, hell. <laughs> there, you know, whatever. Something you always think of something later on. So I got five volts here. And I'm gonna turn out the uh, overhead lights. All right. So here's our smallest one, the 220. This should be the brightest, of course. Oh, you know what, Paul? Sometimes it's a wonder you remember to breathe. Can't do it without that because uh, that's where the power comes from. Duh. All right, here we go. There's the 220. Here's the 330. Here is the 470. The 1K. And the 2.2K. Now, I know you probably really can't see a bunch of difference there. But there's the brightest. There's the, the other one. So you, you can see a difference. Now, those you can't, but yeah. So, there she is. And as you can see on here, I have a little bit of information for the students. So, yeah. I'm going to whip up some of these, and uh, they're going to go in the box of stuff that's going to the school. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the uh, <laughs> patrons. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring the video. And a big thanks to you guys for hanging out with me since 2016. That's it. I'm out. Peace.